In this segment, we'll show you how to install and cable the VES R2600 Pro onto a standard rack. If you've previously racked a 3U system, this will be easy. The R2600 Pro comes with all the hardware you need for rack mounting, as well as an easy to follow quick start guide. Inside the box you'll find the R2600 Pro, three 1.5 meter power cords, a sliding rail assembly and associated hardware for rack mounting, the front panel bezel cover, and the quick start guide. For this demo, we've already installed the rails on the rack, so let's rack the R2600 Pro. This requires two people. When lifting, don't hold the R2600 Pro from its handles. Lift it from the bottom, holding it front and center. Now secure the R2600 Pro with its two front mounting screws. Now that we've installed the R2600 Pro, let's install the VES J2600 JBOD. The R2600 Pro supports expansion by adding one or more VES J2600 JBODs. This offers faster performance and larger capacity. The R2600 Pro and expansion chassis are now installed. Next, let's look at the back of the unit and cable it up. First, a quick rundown of the R2600 Pro hardware features and interconnects. Offering no single point of failure, the following units are replaceable and can be swapped out of the R2600 Pro with zero downtime. Three redundant 250 watt power supplies, two controllers, and hot swappable hard drives. Each controller on the R2600 Pro has the following interconnects. Two 10 gigabit and four 1 gigabit ports for ethernet client connectivity. One RS-232 port for serial port connectivity. One ethernet management port. And one SAS expansion port. For this demo, we're set up for optimal performance. Utilizing end-to-end -end 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity. We've got the R2600 Pro, the J2600 JBOD, a 1 gigabit ethernet switch, a 10 gigabit ethernet switch, and a Sandlink 2 Thunderbolt to 10 gigabit ethernet adapter. This is the exact configuration used to benchmark maximum performance in the R2600 Pro's application and performance notes PDF. You can also connect directly to the R2600 Pro without a switch, using the 10 gigabit or 1 gigabit ethernet ports, although your overall bandwidth will be limited by the number of ports available. So let's get started with the cabling. Connect the power cables to the R2600 Pro and the J2600 JBOD. Connect the 10 gigabit ports to the 10 gigabit switch. In order to ensure maximum performance, you'll need to use CAT6 or greater ethernet cables. Connect a SAS cable from each controller to its corresponding expansion chassis, SAS in port. Connect the management ethernet port. Connect the RS-232 ports. Although seldom used, these ports can help with serial debugging by connecting to our internal CLI. If your host computer does not have a DB9 serial connection, you can use a USB to DB9 adapter. Finally, we need to cable the NAS client. In our case, we have a MacBook connected via Sandlink 2 10 gigabit Ethernet to Thunderbolt 2. First, we connect the Ethernet cable from the switch to the Sandlink 2.
Then we connect the Thunderbolt from the Sandlink 2 to the NAS client. The system is now all cabled up. Let's get it up and running. First, power on all the network equipment. Next, power on the J2600 JBOD. It must be powered on before the R2600 Pro, and you should allow a minimum of 30 seconds for it to boot up before proceeding to the next step. The final step is to power on the VES R2600 Pro. Press the power button on the left front and allow three to four minutes for it to boot. When the controller activity and system heartbeat LEDs are blue, we're ready to manage the R2600 Pro from the web management interface. Your system hardware setup and cabling is now complete. In our next video, we'll cover initial setup for the R2600 Pro and the J2600 JBOD.